This is Agent 001 from Autospies.com here at the USA introduction in New Jersey of some amazing great 2011 cars. As I pan around here, you're seeing 335 IS, Z4 35 IS, 7 Series, new 5 Series, and with me, I have my good friend from BMW, Willem, who's going to take us through and kind of give us a guided tour on the outside and on the inside of the new 5 of what's different, what's changed, and why you want one. Because number one, it's it's gorgeous, first of all, that's the number one reason you want one, and it's a BMW, the ultimate driving machine, it drives great, but tell our audience what's changed on the car and the vision of what 5 Series is all about. Okay, I'll like to do that. Thank you, Don, and uh, let's take a look at what are the basic changes in terms of proportions compared to the outgoing 5 Series sedan, to the model year 10. First of all, the total vehicle length has increased by about two inches, so the wheel has become a little bit longer, but at the same time, the wheelbase has increased by three inches. That basically means that the overhangs have been reduced, especially the front overhang. So when we look at the front overhang, you see it's extremely short, which is anyway, in general, a BMW quality, but on the new 5 Series, it has been even shorter than on the old one. And it seems to really harken back to the E39. It has a lot of cues from that old, probably the greatest 5 Series in history to a lot of the purists, correct? Until this one came. Yeah, until this one came. <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. It's a, it's a very harmonic uh, design. We have done a lot of feedback uh, from the media, from the public. And it's pretty much all positive and there's, to be honest, also very much confidence within the company on the styling. And I hear it's selling quite well in Europe, almost sold out across Absolutely. most of Europe. Absolutely. Currently, demand is clearly higher than our manufacturing capacity. Yeah. So in terms of other um, changes in the geometry of the vehicle, you see the height is pretty much the same as the outgoing 5 Series. The width has been increased, so the body width by about one inch, and the track by an inch and a half. This makes the vehicle appear more solid on the road. And the part that we have to come to, because obviously in the last generation car, there was criticism of the, in French they call it the derriere. I say this new 5 Series has the best looking back end of a car that BMW's ever made. It's gorgeous. Well, I uh, pretty much agree with you. And the nice thing is, although it uh, seems less big, this whole rear part of the vehicle, as you say it is in English, the trunk volume has stayed the same compared to the outgoing 5 Series, so no compromise at all in that area. Gorgeous tail lights, the exhaust is beautiful, and you know, we're looking at a different silver color. When I saw this here in this overcast sky, this is not the titanium, this is called mineral silver. It's actually my favorite color combination on the car. There's a beige and an amaretto interior that you can get on this, and I just think it really pops. It really is more alive than titanium, so if you're kind of trying to decide on a color, I would definitely look at this mineral silver. So we're going to go on the inside now. Okay, we've got a great tour of the outside of the new 5 Series, and now the interior. This is the place that you're going to spend most of your time and enjoy the beautiful ultimate driving machine experience. Tell us about the inside. Well, just like the outside, also the inside is completely renewed. There's no part that has been taken over from the outgoing 5 Series. In general, if you look at the interior, I tend to describe it as a contemporary but not cold feel that you have in it. So it's like a contemporary but warm feel. This is not only due to the materials that we have been using, but also by the geometry. And it also has, a, a, a it's gone back to the driver orientation, which was missing in the last generation 5 Series. Absolutely. The previous generation 5 Series did not have driver orientation, so the dashboard was not curved around the driver. And uh, I must say, we got some feedback on this, that our BMW customers were missing this, and that's why we were putting it back into the all-new 5 Series sedan. You can see the door handles, how they kind of slide up a little bit more uh, ergonomic for the person you know used to the old E39, so I think it looks really smart and handsome. Tell us a little bit more about, let's light this thing up and show us some of the new things about it, talk about the technology and what you can get. 
pricing, gas mileage. We've got a great eight-speed transmission I was hearing about. The Sport eight-speed sounds really exciting. That's what I want on my 5 Series. Yeah, absolutely. The 535i and the 550i, they come standard with a six-speed manual transmission, which is actually unique in the segment. So no other premium midsize sedan in the US does offer a manual transmission. We do have, though, an eight-speed automatic Optional, but a no-cost option. And I drove the uh, the manual transmission yesterday in the 535. It is is fantastic. I love the feel of just the way the clutch works. Though it's just a wonderful, you know, great experience. I mean, if you like driving a manual, you're gonna love that one. Although with the way technology's changed now, with eight speeds, you have two overdrives right in the transmission and right. the automatics. It's no longer the stick shift gets the better gas mileage. The new automatic actually brings you better gas mileage. That's uh, absolutely true. Uh, in from this respect, in terms of efficiency, actually automatic transmission has become the better choice. And so you have the three transmissions. You have the stick, mm -hmm. you have a regular automatic, and then the sport automatic, which is a $500 option, you said. Correct. What, what do you get differently in the sport automatic? So you have... You get faster shifting times, and you get a different shift lever, and you get uh, here paddles on the steering wheel by which you can shift with your fingers without okay. keeping them or uh, without uh, taking them away from the steering wheel. Now, one of my favorite things is, you know, I live in Southern California, right? The spies are based there. We got to have a big glass roof. And in this five series, they have really, this is huge. You know, the last five series, it really wasn't that big of an opening. I really like the, the bigger roof. So that's one of the options that you get on this car that really improves the experience, especially if you're in that area where you want that nice air coming in and the climate. So that's great. And also from a Southern California, California perspective because you know I don't know if you heard this rumor we actually get traffic in Southern California I love the yeah. active cruise stop and go option I don't ever want a car again driving in Southern California without it and this one you tell me has been tweaked even better than the new 7 with the collision warning and uh, a little bit more sensitivity yes uh, this technology first of all allows you to set a certain speed but also a certain distance compared to the car in front of you. So when the car in front of you brakes, also your car will brake automatically and keep this preset distance towards the car. Even when it comes to a complete stop, also your car will come to a stop. If you start driving again, also your car will do this, which is of course great for stop and go traffic in traffic jams. But if the car in front of you brakes very suddenly, you will get, as a driver, a braking impulse, as a warning something is happening in front of you. And, you know, in real life, one of the things I notice is, you know, you're not supposed to be texting in the car, you're not supposed to be, you know, being distracted, but by having that active cruise, I like having it on because it actually will react sooner than I can see something happening down the road, and you'll actually feel the car start to stop a little bit, which kind of alerts you, like, you better get ready for something. So that's from a safety feature. I think that would be great for any kids driving the car, people who, you know, maybe are busy, executives. It's a great option to get. It's not cheap. It's over $2,000, but I say it's well worth it. It's a great option. Now, you got other technologies here. You got the backup cameras. You look around the corners. Mm -hmm. And I heard you kind of maybe, you know, bragging a little bit about your uh, automatic parking over a uh, certain Asian competitor's car's system. <laughs> well, who might that be? I, <laughs> we'll let the audience uh, venture a guess on that one. Yeah. Tell us why this one is better. Well, parking assistant uh, is coming new now for BMW, so it's actually a premiere for BMW on the 5 Series sedan. And you have to actually experience it, how well it works, but what it does for you is when you activate it, that it finds a suitable parking spot, so where there's enough space. Once you have selected that parking spot, it will steer the vehicle into that spa, uh, parking spot. What is left to the driver is the, applying the gas and the brakes and of course the transmission. And we're going to show you a demo of that in just a few minutes. But now, one of my favorite things also that really, you know, people don't think about or talk about a lot is the seat in a BMW and in a luxury car. I mean, you're spending a lot of time, and I got I really have to compliment you, the seats that allow the upper movement here towards your shoulders and the mm -hmm. multi-level of adjustments mm -hmm. in a BMW. 
I don't think there's any better seat for a long drive. It's wonderful. You get can you get massage in this like the seven series or you can optionally get massage and heating and cooled seats, of course. It's normal all, all optionally available. These are actually what we call the multi contour seats. They come in a few packages, for example, in the sports package. And those are really the seats that give you and on the one hand great long distance comfort, but they also hold you very well in the vehicle. So this is a combination of sporty but also uh, comfortable driving in, in one product. And so in a nutshell, as we close here, if there's one thing about this car that really impresses you, I mean, you, you've lived with this car in development, what is it about this car that maybe the average person's not going to see right off the bat or that you really appreciate after being involved with it that really makes you proud about this new 5 Series? Well, if you want me to describe it in one sentence, I would say it drives as good as it looks. Wow, and it's it's really a beautiful car. the The entire package it's it's handsome, it's classic, it's contemporary, it's everything I think you'd want in a luxury sports sedan. So, Willem, thanks so much for showing us the 2011 5 Series. This is Agent 001. Remember, spy before you buy. Take care. Autospies.com.